Shout hallelujah. A louder hallelujah. Either way you are, raise your voice as you sing this loud and clear. Believe in the love for his great touch upon your life here today. Power must change us in my life. No matter what the may say. Power must change us in my life. Hallelujah. No matter what the devil may Jesus name Jesus name Jesus name Jesus name Hallelujah this morning whether you are here or you are watching us God has a program for your life and there are things he will want to do in your life therefore in the next few minutes I want you to sing like David sang and dance like David danced so that you too can have the miracle of David miracle of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob let nobody's voice be louder than yours as you praise the Lord is glorious in holiness, fearful in praises. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. He reigns, He reigns, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. Hallelujah. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. It's a miracle walking God. Hallelujah. It's a miracle walking God. It's the Alpha, Alpha and Omega. It's a miracle walking God. Hallelujah. It's a miracle walking God. Hallelujah. It's a miracle walking God. It's the Alpha and Omega. It's a miracle. Walking God. Hallelujah. It's a miracle walking. 
Alpha and Omega. He let on your deep rodish. Hallelujah. He let on your deep rodish. Hallelujah. He let on your deep rodish. Hallelujah. He let Alpha and Omega. He let on your deep rodish. Hallelujah. He let on. There's no one, there's no one like him. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There will never be any like him. There is no one, there's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There is no one, there's no one, there's no one like him. There is no one, there's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There will never be, there will never be any like him. Say, I walk out.
Just remain standing where you are with your eyes closed. I'm going to sing a song. Don't sing with me. Just focus your attention on Jesus. Who is the author and finisher of your faith. As I sing from here, the mysterious power of God will begin to move. Everywhere the voice is heard, the voice of the great physician too will flow into your ears. And situations that have resisted you shall begin to bow. Thank you, Jesus. He has broken all the fetal. He has broken all the fetal. He has broken all the fetters. He has set me free. He has broken all the fetters. He has broken all the fetters. He has broken all the feathers he has set me free I will sing hallelujah I will sing hallelujah I will sing hallelujah he has set me free. He has broken all the fetters. He has broken all the fetters. He has broken all the fetters. He has set me the lion of Judah has broken every yoke he has given us the victory again and again the lion of Judah has broken every yoke he has given us the victory again and again victorious yes we are victorious glory be to God who has given us victory victory we are victorious yes we are victorious glory be to God who has given us victory That's the power of God moving. That's the second wave of the power of God moving. Just silence. I am going to count seven from here. And when I eat the number seven, all those who are in this gathering are connected to us who have been harassed by the spirit of death and hell. And you are having suicidal thoughts. The power of God will fall upon you. And that yoke will be broken instantly. You may not be able to stand on your feet. It does not matter. But right there where you are. The heavenly surgeon will complete work in your life. I am going to count seven from here too. People who have come here with a very bad medical report. At the count of seven. The earthquake of deliverance will fall upon you. And that report shall be cancelled. As I count several from here too, there are sisters here. In the family you come from, marriages never work. But on that count of seven, the mysterious power of God will fall upon you, and that yoke shall be broken instantly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. yoke must be broken 
I'm going to count another seven from here. As I eat the number seven, if you have come here with problems in your womb, you have come here because you have been constantly attacked by witchcraft spirits. You are here. And anytime you wake up, it's as if your strength is gone. And you have been seeing these strange serpents in your dream. As I eat the number seven, the hand of the great physician shall come upon you. And that yoke shall be broken forever. Also, there are some people here. All roads seem blocked. Power of God will fall upon you. You will definitely not be able to stand on your feet. Because of the earthquake of that power. But then all your roads that are blocked shall open. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The poison of darkness that you have swallowed, that has been working against your body, is coming out. Aha. That egg that you swallowed, the satanic egg, is coming out. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards this altar now. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, these hands that are stretched forward here, let these hands carry the fire and power of God. Let these hands carry the anointing that breaketh yokes. You hand that you are stretched forward here, receive the touch of fire. Receive the touch of fire. Receive the touch of power. Receive the touch of deliverance. Receive the touch of power. Every infirmity you shall smite here today. You shall not find them anymore in the name of Jesus. Get yourself ready now. Anywhere you have infirmity in your body, smite it 21 hot times. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Let's go. Jesus. Amen. Begin to check your body now. Do everything you could not do before you got here. Look at that swelling, it has vanished. Look at the paralysis, it has gone. Look at the migraine, it has disappeared. That pursuit by the spirit of death and hell has vanished completely. Check your body now. Once you find that the hand of God has touched you, don't let the devil put it back. Run quickly to the altar here. Run quickly to the altar here. Don't let the devil put it back. Father, I'm praying for all those who are in this gathering right now. And they are suffering from like father, like son problem. Like mother, like daughter problems. Wherever such people are now, in this program now, let your power, your power, your power overshadow them in the name of Jesus. Receive the touch of the power of God now. In the name of Jesus. Receive the touch of his power. In the name of Jesus. Receive the touch of his power. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Yes. That man over there. Everything swallowed your body by witchcraft spirit. The Lord has forced them to return them. So what you could not do before, jump up and begin to do so. And begin to find a way to the altar very quickly. Thank you, Jesus. 
pray this prayer with violence and with power without any apology to any power anything can happen now pray the way you have never prayed before surprise that handed me over to the strong man you are a liar Power that handed me over to the strong man. Die in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to count seven again from here. There are some sisters here this morning. The enemy has written you off. But as I count the seven, the earthquake power of God will fall upon you. And what they said is not possible for you shall be made possible not only that before this time next year if jesus starts in his coming your life will embarrass and disgrace your enemies one two let her go three four five six seven raise your two hands to the heaven as you pray this prayer the louder you pray it the faster my blessings held up in the covens is that the loudest sister say I can shout this there is a sister who needs to shout this louder Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody shouting it loud. Come out my fire. In the name of Jesus. Come on to come out. Mapote seteli kaya boshanda, ribo seponde kaya boshente rabo sente. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are that person that you know that your body is decaying internally, nobody needs to tell you, you can smell it. Right there where you are, just open your mouth wide. Don't say anything. Just open that mouth wide. Right there where you are. Begin to drink the blood of Jesus. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink. 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 Drink the blood of Jesus. Aha. I command you to recover yourself now. In the name of Jesus. 
and check your body and run quickly to the altar here. Don't let the devil put the problems back. There are some people here that have never worked with a certificate because the enemy collected the certificate before you collected it. Again, I'm going to cancel you from here. And the powers that have held down to your career shall release you instantly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. With a military voice, shout this. I shall laugh last. You are not shouting it yet. You are still not shouting it yet. Over my enemies. By the power. In the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Jesus name we pray now from inside your belly not just from the mouth alone if you believe that prayer you just prayed with a loud voice begin to laugh your enemies to scorn <laughs> just laugh them to scorn laugh them to scorn <laughs> your holy hands. Let the Holy Spirit move upon this oil in the name of Jesus. Let this oil become the oil of great breakthroughs. The oil of great deliverance. The oil of power in the name of Jesus. Thank you Jesus. As to all the oil in your hands you are going to sing this song. You may sit down. As you hold your oil, sing this song loud and clear. Let there be glory and honor and praise. Glory and honor to Jesus. Let there be glory. Let there be honor. Be glory, let there be glory and honor and praise. Glory and honor to Jesus. Let there be glory, let there be honor. Present, bless me, Lord. I am standing in your presence. Bless me, Lord. I am standing in your presence. Bless me, Lord. I am standing in your presence. Your 
of living water flow through my body to sustain me. As I drink this oil, every agent of infirmity is destroyed. I receive a mouth and a wisdom that no enemy can stand against. In the name of the Father, the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Now anoint your head. After doing that, take your paper now. At the back page. Power against neck success syndrome. After anointing your head, 
take that paper and begin to pray now. The prayer that starts with every cord of darkness, militating against my breakthrough, die in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray those prayers now. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If this month is a bad day, please rise your feet while we pray with you now. Father, we thank you for those who are celebrating their birthday this month. We pray, O oh Lord, that your hand will be upon their lives for good. Keep them standing by your power. No weapon formed against you or your destiny shall prosper. By this time next year, if Jesus tarries in his coming, he will be a bigger bundle of testimonies. The hand of Messiah will arise for your sake. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Bring out your prayer letter and remain standing on your feet as you bring out your prayer letter. As you pray on that prayer letter and stretch the prayer letter towards this altar. Rise up and stretch it towards this altar. Father, you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We stretch this prayer letter unto you. Father, answer them by fire in the name of Jesus. Every point that has been written on this paper, you are the God who has the ability to over answer our prayers. Over answer in the name of Jesus. Answer them by fire in the name of Jesus. Let every point on this paper become mighty testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. While you are remaining standing, you are going to sing these songs of fire. Let your voice be the loudest as you sing these songs. Before we go into our final session of prayers, let nobody's voice overshadow your voice. Clap your hands and sing loud and clear. Thank you, Jesus. I've been to Calvary. I did my hands in the blood of the Lamb. And in the blood of Jesus, my life has been I've been to Calvary. I've been to Calvary. I've been to Calvary. I dip my hands in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. I drink the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. My life has been made whole. 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 Super blood of Jesus. Come and deliver me. Precious blood of Calvary. Come and deliver me. Super blood of Jesus. Super blood of Jesus. Having a God of fire, all shakeable must be. Hallelujah! All shakeable must be shaking. All movables keep on moving. I'm serving a God of fire. All shakeable must be shaking. Shake it! 
Deliver me, fire of the Holy Ghost. 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 deliverance or envelope your people. Let there be no one who will go home today with a plastic experience. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Before you sit down I'd like you to walk up to five persons and tell the person loud and clear the vulture of your father's house shall not swallow you. In the name of Jesus Shout it at five persons. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Let's have a seat, God bless you. And listen to me very carefully. It is important that the next two palm was changes. Is something you must not miss and something you must take seriously. As we go on on this our deep deliverance sessions, please listen carefully to what we are going to be dealing with so that you know what to do when the time comes. For the next few minutes, I want to explain to you what we mean by candidates of deep deliverance. Candidates of deep deliverance. Sisters, what did I say? And brothers, what did I say? In Psalm 38, verse 4. Psalm 38, verse 4. For my iniquities are gone over my head, as an heavy burden. They are too heavy for me. There could be a burden that is too heavy for a man to carry. When that kind of burden is in place, then an enemy has done this. I'm praying for somebody here. Any every burden the enemy has placed upon you, before you depart from this holy ground today, shall backfire in the name of Jesus. A sevenfold man. In Psalm 18, verse 17, 18 17, he delivered me from my strong enemy, from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. So there could be a situation where a burden could be too heavy and an enemy can be too strong. Those are the Goliath kind of enemy. I decree upon your life that whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, you shall disgrace your Goliath. Meaning that there are various levels of oppression. There are various levels of affliction. There are various levels of being troubled. This is a wicked world. And the Bible says the whole world lies in wickedness. A very wicked world. So wicked that some who should remain alive are dead. I was explaining last month 
that there could be surface deliverance there could be temporary deliverance there could be partial deliverance there could be complete deliverance there could be deep deliverance when a problem is in the surface and is lightly rooted it can be uprooted without too much effort but when it's deeply rooted it will require more energy in fact there are some problems in scripture that require the second touch of Jesus Jesus touched the man the first time he said can you see he said I see men as trees he touched him again some problems require not one touch a second touch I now want to go as time permits into characteristics of those requiring this thing we call deep deliverance that is deliverance from the roots number one there are some people who suffer from spiritual blockage they cannot connect to heaven they cannot flow during worship no divine dream no divine vision no prophecy no hearing of divine voice spiritual blankness if you are like that no information from heaven no sight from heaven no vision from heaven no dream from heaven no divine information that is what you call spiritual blockage something has blocked your spiritual man and that requires deep deliverance I'm praying for anyone here like that today that you are spiritually blocked even dreams you don't have any divine dreams no divine vision people flow in the Holy Spirit you don't flow people worship and they lose themselves into God you cannot if you are like that here today I decree by the decree of the man of Galilee Jesus the son of the living God receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus two there are some people they are always constantly sexually aroused they try this they try that no it's as if the enemy has fired the arrow of sexual looseness into their lives they pray they go for deliverance but they go back again they say father I won't go there again I will not visit the prostitutes but they go back there again you need deep deliverance three there is something deliverance called long term pregnancy somebody is supposed to deliver a baby nine months three years two years four years it's a sign of deep deliverance four there are plenty of cases of disappearing pregnancies they just disappear they seen it in the scan before but now they can't see it anymore it has disappeared this is a very serious matter very very serious matter and I cannot just bypass it like that right there where you are all eyes closed if you are here and this is happening to you or has happened to you pregnancy disappears or it has disappeared before find a way quickly to this altar and be on your knees now before we bypass that arena if you are in any place watching us find a way to the altar of where you are so that the hand of God can deliver you today something is about to happen that will change destinies forever while they are coming out can you shout this loud and clear where you are Goliath in my roots is that the loudest you can shout this prayer Death! in the name of Jesus open your mouth and decree it that's the power of God that's the power of God Jesus, then we pray. Those of you at the altar or coming to the altar, you can stand where you are. Stretch your right hand towards me. Father, let this let the fire of God enter into these hands now. 
that is caused grace deliverance to happen in the name of Jesus I'm going to count something just smite your womb area one two three four five six seven But upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness, and the children of Jacob shall possess their possession. Yes, let her go. 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 In the name of Jesus. The serpent in the womb. Get out. Get out. In the name of Jesus. The swallowing serpent in the womb. Get out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, those of you at the altar, begin to shake your head. Shake it vigorously. Shake it vigorously. Shaking it is a sign of no. No. You don't want it anymore. And let the arrow fired into the womb go back to the senders go back go back go back go back go back shake it off masikateli kayabu shanda amen beginning from today the battle you have been seen before you shall see them no more in the name of Jesus You may go back to your seat now. Aha. Look at what is happening. The great physician is walking. 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 Yes. Yes. Power of your village witchcraft. Turn your womb. It's destroyed now. Aha. Everybody will pray this too. This is a prayer that has delivered many. Pray this deliverance prayer loud and clear. Yokes of my father's ass. I am not your candidate. Great. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. I spoke to you about spiritual blockage, about being constantly sexually aroused, about long term pregnancy, about disappearing pregnancy. Number five is strange voices. A lot of people are hearing voices they should not be hearing. When you hear a voice that is not the voice of God and it's saying strange things to you, you need deep deliverance. That person over there. That voice that is telling you that you will die. I silence that voice now in the name of Jesus. Six. We have situations of babies traveling out of the womb and coming back. Travels out, comes back. Travels out, comes back. It calls for deep deliverance. Seven. This may be difficult for you to believe. But there are plenty of people with invisible load on their head. There is load on their head. They will not see it physically. What is there? Eight. Some people have the arrow of pepper. The body is just peppery. As if pepper is applied. No. It's a case of deep deliverance. They are boiling that person in the cauldron of witchcraft. Is that heat that you are feeling? Nah. There is something called personal rain. The person will feel that rain is falling upon him. Or somebody is pouring sand on him. And he can't see anybody. It comes for deep deliverance. This is why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain to you. That the next two palm of changes. Is to deal with these strange and mysterious afflictions. Then number 10 is the rage of satanic birds. Birds just roaming around the compound. 
screaming and screaming at night. And immediately it is daybreak, they disappear. It needs deep deliverance. You that you are there, they are coming to. You need that deep deliverance. Some complain by level about being pursued by the moon, by the stars, by the sun. He can't tell anybody. Because if somebody tells you moon is pursuing him, the sun is pursuing him, we we'll say you are mad. But it is a reality. Reality. Twelve. There are some people, their money disappears. Clothes disappear. Air on the earth disappear. They don't know who's taking them. They don't know where they have gone to. It calls for deep deliverance. These are things we are going to be dealing with. Some have strange odors coming from their body. Some have scratches coming up on their body. To some is unexplainable hatred. Unexplainable hatred. It calls for deep deliverance. There is something called spiritual famine. The person will have no desire to do any spiritual discipline. There is total inability to read the Bible. Total inability to pray. Total inability to have communion with God. Any time they attempt to pray or to read the Bible, several things will happen. They may instantly fall asleep. Then all manner of thoughts crossing their mind will make it impossible for them to concentrate. They may begin to feel sick or develop severe headache. Any time they grow spiritually, there is an aggressive counter attack. Deep deliverance is needed. I saw somebody three months back. She has three girls. The first pregnancy was a boy. This was in the hospital. As they say, push. And she pushed the baby. An unseen power standing in that hospital cut off the head. The head of the boy just rolled on the floor. The nurse ran away. Everybody was afraid because they could not see the forces cutting it off. She cried, went all over the place. She got pregnant again. Fifth time. Another boy. Another clinic. The same thing happened again. As the head came out, it was cut off. That is not ordinary deliverance again. It's a deep deliverance. Situations like this are things many people cannot discuss. Some suffer from emotional insanity. There is wound in their heart that nobody can see. And it's making the enemy to be attacking them regularly. All these kind of feelings, they are signs of deep deliverance. Excessive tiredness. Just tired. You wake up, you are tired as if you have not, never slept. Those are signs that a deep deliverance is called for. When there are strange occurrences in the environment, flying objects, shadowy objects, bush babies crying on your windows, then a deep deliverance is called for. The question is, why are they looking for you? Sleepwalking is sleeping. It is walking about. Deep deliverance is called for. Demonic look alike. You are always seeing somebody looking like you. All this call for very deep deliverance. These are the things we need to address. But before that time comes, we have some dangerous prayers to pray against them. What do you do when the enemy is stronger and the burden is heavier? What do you do when you arrive by your Red Sea? The first is to surrender your life to Jesus. The next thing is to report them to God. And the third thing is to declare war. Is that war we are declaring now? Meaning that the next two power must change us. You are still going to be bringing your anointing oil here. Until total victory. All eyes closed. But you see if you are here today. And you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Do so very quickly. Before we start these prayers. You can come to this altar at the front here. Or any of the two altars at the back. He said, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I too want deliverance to the root to happen in my life. Run quickly to this altar at the front. 
or any of the two altars at the back or wherever you are watching us go to the altar of that church over there Jesus is waiting for you do it very quickly we have to go and pray thank you Jesus thank you Jesus crucified laid behind the strong you leave to die rejected and alone like a rose trampled on the ground out you took the fall and turned of me of all you were crucified you yeah. live to die rejected alone like a rose you are trampled on the ground you took the fall you took the fall and of me I congratulate you for taking the most important decision in life. Let's bow down your heads and say this after me. He said, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, I know that you died for my sins. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here who have surrendered their lives to Jesus. Father, keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon their lives. Today that they have surrendered their lives to Jesus. Let the earthquake of deliverance begin to happen in their lives. Give them uncommon breakthroughs. Amen. Jesus mighty name we pray Amen Right there where you are the counselors will discuss with you And tell you the next course of action The rest of us wherever we are Talk to the Lord now Tell the Lord To forgive you of any sin That will keep any deep bondage in place Particularly bondages you cannot discuss with people Ask the Lord to forgive you now Do that quietly where you are Jesus, my strength, my hope, on Thee I cast my care, with humble confidence, look up and know.
in these prayers. In this prayer session, anything can happen at any time. Father, in the name of Jesus, your amen is not loud enough. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you because your word says that oppression shall be far away from us. Your word says they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Your word says, No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Father, I decree right now that anyone in this gathering and the weapon of the enemy is already prospering in your life. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Masopoli Kaya. Receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus. When I say one, two, three, go now. You shout the name of Jesus seven aggressive times. And then you keep quiet. One, two, three, go. Just now, 
Receive your breakthroughs now in the name of Jesus. Receive it. 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 Makatela kaya bo shente rabosa. In the name of Jesus. Silence. Father, all who are here and they have been dedicated to one idol or the other, consciously or unconsciously, wherever such people are now. Father, these are your angels that are moving around. Let them begin to touch them one by one. That's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, all those who have been dedicated by their parents or anything, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. There are 21 persons here. Before the next power must change hands, the Lord will usher you into great wealth that will change your story forever. Say, I receive power to rewrite my family history by the power in the blood of Jesus. Can you shout that loud? Shout it again. For the last time, shout it now! Now, I want you to make one single prayer request. Something you want the Lord to do before the next power of changes. Single prayer request. Just one. Amen. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you. The eyes that never slumbers on you shall be upon you. No weapon formed against your life or your destiny shall prosper. The Lord will arise and fight all your battles for you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. It is well with you. No weapon formed against your life shall prosper. I put you in the envelope of fire. I laminate your life with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship. <laughs>